don't have the typical setup that we have um, at the town offices. Um, so just a uh, forewarning everyone that you'll be able to hear me, Evan, possibly Duncan if he speaks, um, but not everybody else in the room. Um, we have quite a few folks in the room, not gonna go through it. Um, calling our emergency meeting to order. We are gonna have three topics, um, state of emergency summary, the authorization of spending for the emergency, an update on right events for the next few days, and then we'll adjourn. Uh, and just for context setting, I am literally gonna rattle through a whole bunch of information. If you need to stop me to ask an important question, it's okay, but just know I'm not gonna let you talk. We're gonna figure out who needs to be involved in the conversation and then we're gonna move on. Um, that's the plan, okay? Uh, are there any questions before we, in terms of rules of engagement? Cool. Okay. Um, uh, so, yeah, thanks. Thanks for the comment. Uh, so state of emergency summary. Um, we had an historic flood. We beat 95. It was, we met a 21.01 .01 foot level, um, which is the second highest on record. Um, we had no loss of life. We uh, we did have door to door in the highest risk residential areas. Um, we did have people going door to door. They have confirmed no human loss of life, which is pretty amazing. Um, so I'm going to talk through some aspects of that. Um, currently for village water, village water is potable, which means it's drinkable. Um, so we're in good shape there. Um, there is shelter set up at Carter Gym, the shape facility at um, the Vermont State University, formerly NVU. Um, as of 5 p.m. yesterday, American Red Cross took over the management um, and the facilities here have been amazing. They have literally like just stopped what they're doing all day long to help support us when we were running it and also with Red Cross running it. Good stuff. Um, the shelter does also have Lamoille Valley uh, Lamoille Valley Health Services. And when I say health services, I mean all of our human services agencies are engaged with supporting people at the shelter. And they will support both day shelter people, meaning people who don't want to sign in and spend the night, as well as overnight, like residential type shelter um, folks. So um, there's lots of good services available, and we um, encourage the public to use those services. Um, additionally, I'm just going to add on to that. Um, if and when you hear from neighbors or through the grapevine how people get support for the things they need, we need to direct them to 211. 211 will um, will help them. 211 is backed up. They need to just keep trying. Um, there also are resources listed on the Lamoille um, United Way website. Electric, um, electric is turned on overall for ev for everyone right now. Um, there are still customers who do not have service. Those customers who have any electric that went underwater need to have certified electrician um, provide a statement that it's okay to turn their electricity on. Um, there was something else I wanted to say about electric. I don't remember what it was. What am I missing? Anything? Uh, we had 65 customers out and we're having troubles getting meters because a lot of the meters were destroyed. So that's part of the reason. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. Sewer. Um, sewer is down. Um, Ken and the village and a bunch of other people have been working on um, mitigation plans because we do not have a functioning sewer plant. Um, and there will be a lot more discussions. The state is down there now, and there is approval to bypass the sewer plant right now. There's lots of other details that um, if you need to know more about, rather than if you want to know, if you need to know, reach out to um, the village, Ken very specifically. Um, but again, everyone's still in a state of emergency, working through a lot of details. Please only reach out if you need to know. Um, all roads are currently open. We are working on a couple of roads. Um, we're working on Lenway Lane. Lenway has a workaround for residents on the far side. Um, that's the biggest um, hit right now. And there's also work happening on River Road West, East. East, I don't know East. if work's happening there, but there's- um, There will be. Portion of the bay. 
uh, erosion and it's marked to keep vehicles away from the bank for safety. Um, speaking of safety, there are parts of the Loma uh, Rail Trail that are totally washed out and they literally have cliffs at the end of them. People have to stay off them. Um, it's really important. Um, roads are open. Communications. Our office was flooded. The office is closed. It will remain closed for the remainder of the week. If you hear about people trying to get a license for fishing or pay a utility bill, it doesn't matter right now. We can't be bothering people with those types of requests. Um, so please do spread that word if you hear people talking about those types of things. Um, I assume it's safe to say, Ken, that if somebody doesn't pay a utility bill and it's late because of an emergency, it's not a big deal. We have waived everything for a month. Um, just so they know if electrical or sewer issues, they can call 802-730 uh, glasses. <laughs> 802 That's a temporary office number for the water and lights and what. Perfect. Thank you. Um, While we're talking about communications, uh, I'd like to remind everybody that it's very important to keep a clear, consistent message. Uh, communication should be through Facebook, the town Facebook page, the town website, which are managed by EOC. If you want information to get out there, please communicate it to Beth or myself, and we will work on a response. You should be pointing residents towards those sources. We will have a front porch forum posts as well. So you want you guys are the only two that are, are put on front porch forum, or is it any of us? Um, Eric is also a consistent doing front porch forum. Right? A consistent message is very important. Yeah. All right. It should. I'll be in touch with you. So the new number was put on the website. It was the new numbers on the website. Yep. So um, to the point of Front Porch Forum, we will put summary information because they only release a couple of times a day. I have not seen evidence of them releasing more often. I tried to do some posts that came out the next day. So there is, are still limited. We'll try to do the summary information in Front Porch Forum. Um, but we do still want to direct everyone to the town website. Anyone who can access email can access a browser townofjohnson.com is the way to get updated information that's happening real time as we are able to plug it in so that's the best source is 2611 phone numbers that is still down um we're not so the office is closed if you call the office number the old office number it will not be answered this week at period it won't be answered this week the office is closed there are numbers on our town website to direct people based on what it is that they're looking for they need to go to the website to find the appropriate number to reach out to we have a, a couple of different numbers out there um okay okay yep um we're gonna so after this meeting actually i already talked to sue we're gonna go update the message on the 2611 number so that we tell people we're going to read what the website says. Um, okay. Communications. Anything else on communications? Nope. Okay. Safety. Um, the fire department, uh, they didn't have a number as of yesterday afternoon on, on the number of people that they rescued. They were working on it. It was, um, well, they did have numbers. I don't have them in front of me. Apologies. They did write off some numbers. Um, there were a lot of rescues. We thank them. They've done a lot um, and will continue to do a lot. We also have North had North Carolina urban search and rescue here. You may have seen trailers with boats and some pretty impressive equipment. Um, those folks went to the highest risk areas based on what the fire department told them um, to look for both um, significant structural damage for safety concern and loss of life in those highest risk areas. And we're happy to report there was no loss of life um, and there was a uh, there was one building that was considered condemnable. Everything else was considered salvageable in some way. Um, so we and yeah. they inspected seventy one structures. Yeah, the North Carolina people did. Yep. Um, we also have a fire marshal, the state fire marshal here. Um, there's actually a duo here there's and two separate teams. Two separate teams of fire marshal duos, right? Um, you will see fire marshals marshals around. They have a priority order in which they're 
doing inspections and Duncan is their point of contact. We've delegated that to Duncan. Um, so um, they have public safety in mind first. Um, I'm not gonna get into it more, but essentially we'll be looking at um, some key public buildings and then um, looking at residential potentially down the road, but this is fluid. Um, sorry, not as well as no. are you talking about that? Fire Marshal. Yeah. Um, we also have Team Rubicon. Uh, go ahead, go That's for what it. I was going to say is Team Rubicon is on the ground right now, uh, doing an initial assessment. Go we'll back to do a more thorough assessment. And who are they? Uh, they are a team of volunteers uh, that go around and do damage assessment, uh, put information in a database that's very helpful to FEMA uh, and the state. And uh, depending on the need, they can deploy resources to assist private and public um, with cleanup, removal, yada, 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 restoration. Who and how, how and who gets in touch with them? Get in touch with EOC right now at this point. So everything about people reaching out to get help needs to go through the contact information on our website. So we're talking about the different people we have engaged. We need to be the center of all engagement in the emergency team. Um, we are in touch with the Vermont Emergency, emergency Management. We talk to them multiple times a day um, for various reasons. We'll continue to do that. Um, we talked about a lot of those reasons already. Um, is there anything else in terms of state of affairs? We're going to talk about potential. We're going to talk about this item later. So we'll skip over the, that part. Um, anything else about state of affairs that anyone wants to share really quickly? Uh, quick future state of affairs, I guess. Um, we have great contact with our local representatives. <laughs> and they're asking what they can help with this for as far as resources please contact EOC at this point. We will probably try to get a point person for that and post it on the town website and Facebook. Start getting a resource list of needs. And that way we can communicate it through one channel instead of 500 different phone calls to our representatives. Um, I do want to add one other thing about current state. We're getting lots of requests and emails and contacts for people to volunteer services and supplies. In terms of the shelter, the supplies needed are available already. We don't need supplies for the shelter. Um, we're working on getting the shelter some water right now temporarily, but they'll supply their own, the American Red Cross will. And the NVU is, is working with them on supplying hot meals. They have cots, they have blankets, they have all the those types of basic needs. So we don't need help with basic needs. Um, I do also wanna just point out really quickly before I forget, there's a national agency, don't recall their name. I will post this when I have a chance. Um, but at four o'clock, they'll be setting up in Sterling Market uh, parking lot and providing food supplies for people. Um, I assume it's all getting non-perishable, but I don't know. Um, but they're gonna set up, um, and I'll post their information um, everywhere I can. I don't think Front Porch Forum will go out before they'll, they'll be there because I think they, it goes at around five. Um, Could we possibly get LBB in each or something? Good idea. Yes, we'll add that to the list. Do we make a note? We can add yeah. it to the board. Uh, great idea. Yeah. Anything else that anyone has? I have a question on clothing. Everything for so all clothing items. If you can reach out to Capstone, we're going to use Lamoille Valley. The the regular services that all of our human service departments within the county already that are already established, we're using them for all of that type of thing. And all of those groups are already working with the American Red Cross. So the things that were donated yesterday, all the stuff that came from Farm Garden, all that stuff, Rick Tatro has given us space over there. We I'm gonna have you connect with Lynn. So, okay, good. Let's have this conversation outside of this. Uh, okay. Um, next up, authorizing spending of money. Uh, we have a couple of items that we already know about. This is select board business at this point. Um, we have a couple of items that we already know about that we're going to need um, authorization for spending. Um, 
serve pro is one of those items do you want to speak to that evan i have a very quick update um serve pro is looking at what is probably most effective in there um is the time and material their quick anticipation is that the library project uh, will take five to six days with a crew of 10 to 12 members plus additional drying days which require less man labor that's the library. The municipal building will take around three to four days of work for eight to 10 crew members, plus final drawing days, which require minimal labor. Uh, a note for that, there might be some record preservation that takes longer. They cryogenically freeze the documents, send them somewhere else for, for preservations in the back. Um, the fire department, I know it's a village structure, but we're in an emergency year working together, uh, very important for the community, will take three to five days. They did not say the amount of crew members, but it says plus final drying days, which require minimal labor. Uh, this amount uh, obviously depends on final usage. And I would love to read to you their rate sheet, but there is uh, 13 pages of rate sheet um, with items ranging from a project coordinator of uh, $160 an hour to, uh, you know, pre-spray traffic line cleaner of, okay, that's per gallon. Um, there's a lot of rates to go, so there's no final numbers on that. Let's be covered by insurance. Um, okay, question. My uh, question, really quick, uh, but the FEMA email that we received said that we needed to have three bids. It's not waived. That's a question that we tried to get answers from. Um, it took us all morning. We are trying to still get answers from uh, from higher ups, right? Maybe. Um, I don't know. Well, it should be possible because we got waived for our repair under the bridge already for only getting one, and we've already hired them. Awesome. Good to know. I think the breakdown can sometimes be emergency versus recovery. Yeah. Yours is obviously an emergency. Yeah, we got approval food state, and they got approval for FEMA to skip the three right. quotes. Okay, we'll follow up on that, but thanks for that information, Ken. That's helpful. So emergency versus recovery. Got it. I would. Yeah. Are you going to talk about the three or over one? Yep. Later down. Uh, it's next, actually. So, are we going to be able to get three quotes from somebody and get them mobilized to clean the municipal building? Wait, 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 wait. Serve Pro first? Do we need an action? I think that's, I think that's what, oh, that's what you're talking about. Okay. We're looking for action. Rosemary is not here. Um, given that we're in a state of emergency, we could discuss with her and make a decision and retroactively approve it, I believe. Possibly, or we could just attention. Yeah, I think Ken's question is a good one. Um, if we get a quote from Serve Pro, do we need to at least try and get two other quotes? And are like, we going to be able to? And, and no are we going to be able to? But you at least, if if you've tried, FEMA in the past has said trying is good enough. We called other um, companies, and they were Serve Pro was the one who was able to get here quickly. And I think that's probably a good enough reason. I think that's why we got passed is we were trying to get more quotes and there was nobody responding. Right. Mm -hmm. So they authorized just the one to go with it. Okay. Jason has a question. Just a question about Sir Pro. Is the lower building going to be involved in the cleanup or good water get in? And four feet out. They're coming back to reassess. Um, that's a jointly owned building. And uh, the damage is there for sure. I think the municipal building and getting government government functioning again is very high on the priority list. Yes, good to consider. Yes, Does good to consider. Building need to be cleaned out? Um, that's getting into the weeds. I I think um, rest of the select board would they like to include? lower storage building as lower on the priority list with cleanup? That's the question. I think we need to that, you know, the floodwaters contain all, it's not just water. So that's a yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We have people in there. Does that answer your question? 
Okay, so um, how do we want to move forward with this? Do we want to, how, yeah, what is the board comfortable with in terms of um, approval for spending? I strongly suspect that either insurance or FEMA will cover it. And if FEMA covers part of it, insurance will probably cover the rest. So I would be entirely in favor of doing what we need to do to get it. Get it going. No, it's villages in favor of whatever we need to do at this time. Mm -hmm. Were you looking for a number? Oh, I think we need a motion to um, approve spending with uh, Serve Pro, and there can be a contingencies attached or not. Um, but we definitely need to just because the last time we met. We had approval for two thousand dollars. All the ancillary, which yeah, oh yeah, that's on my bonus. Yeah, <laughs> so so anyway, we need to we just need to make sure that we have the authority to engage with them in the contract, and if we want them in quickly, we need to engage with the contract today. Yes. Do you know how much is in your emergency management budget? Fifty thousand um, dollars. I think. Yeah. So, looking for authorization to spend that fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, it. thanks. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll put you. We'll put the petition out for you next year. Sure. Um, so there is that. That may be the front line. We're also in a new budget year. Yeah. I mean, we could look at cutting budget items for this year since we're at the beginning of a new budget year too. Um, we just have to be judicious in doing so. I'm all in favor of it, and I would make a motion that we move ahead with CERP Pro. I would add a contingency, and that is that we at least attempt to find out whether or not, you know, seeking multiple vendors is required. Okay, we have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Um, any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Um, real quickly. Oh, hold on. Okay, I just have it. Yep. Uh, can you have authority from the trustees to authorize cleanup? Yeah. Uh, municipal building is excessive, extremely important. Uh, that is a bill that will be split and maybe mm -hmm. rolled into one FEMA declaration, but. Trustees will pay for yep. half of that and lower storage, okay. lower on the priority list. They're all comfortable with paying for that. Yep. And the fire department, I'll make sure, will make sure whoever deals with it that sort of breaks everything out. So it's easy for Rosemary to follow up. So make sure to be here. Okay. Um, next Just up is. Do want to jump off? Thank you. Yes. Thanks, no Shane. Problem. Uh, next up is dump dumpsters. So we have two topics around dumpsters. We already have dumpsters at the municipal building. And do we have it at the library yet? Do we know? Yeah, the, the trailer. trailer. <laughs> yeah, the trailer. But we also oh, we're working on getting a dumpster at the, a real dumpster at the library. Sure, probably will help with that kind of thing too. Yeah, yep. We have, um, we have several at the treatment program. Okay, perfect. Can the library use your dumpster? Yeah, sure, <laughs> they can get it there. Okay. But okay. the first dump here you see. <laughs> that's my book. Like 15 yards. Yes. Okay. Um, cool. Good, good stuff. We also, so that's one topic for dumpsters. And I'm putting these together because if we're going to talk dumpsters, let's talk dumpsters. Um, there are also, from what I understand, uh, in the flood of 95, the town also provided dumpsters for other flood victims and their needs. And I think we should seriously consider doing that. Um, I, personally, I'm very much in favor of doing that. Um, Could I make a suggestion? Yeah. Um, we have a spare dump truck, don't we, at this time? Who is we? The Johnson Highway Department. I don't know if that's the best use of a dump truck I, I, right now. It would just save costs for us in my opinion, there's a lot of wet trash going in there, and when we start putting other stuff in it like that, it's going to be severe. I've been wondering if stuff's available for a day, and we've been known that people it's available on Friday from 8 to 4. And we make it just a one-street suite. Uh, I don't see that being a good idea. 
logistically, just even good. the height off the ground. It's when it's uh, full. Insurance when it's not. Huh? It's when it, 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 they're going to come get it when it's full. A dumpster they are. Yeah. yeah. No, he's not he's about the, oh, the truck. Oh, the truck. You're right. Yeah. The dump truck's a high place to throw stuff up. In. Well, my assumption was that we could have a bucket loader falling. Mm -hmm. Quick cleanup as they do in the South under storm recovery is what I was considering. But if that's the case, we'll just have just everybody suggestion. throw it in Main Street and just scoop it up as we go. <laughs> that's what they do down South. That's as, so do that's the recommendation. It's not necessarily a dump truck. It's just closing down Railroad Street and telling everybody to throw their garbage in the middle of the street? No, it was a suggestion to no, <laughs> nicely <laughs> place it so it could be picked up. But right, your dumpster idea is fine. I just... So do you think there's a place to do that? If we were if we were to do something like that, like logistically, would we have a place that they could throw it? You know, I mean, sidewalk isn't going to cut it. It almost has right. to be in the street so it could literally be scraped. Right. It's kind I, of those. Um, my recommendation to the select board is going to be if we want to do it to authorize dumpsters instead of getting into like deep weeds, um, trying to keep things moving. I, you know, we don't know what's coming. I really would be reluctant to commit these guys to doing something like that when I mean they're talking about the possibility of thunder showers. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't mean for the hours to sit there and stand by. You know, we set a date and time when it will be picked up. If it's not out there, then it's theirs. But a lot of people on River Street have been hauling and cleaning out as of right now. It's packed yeah. with trailers, so a lot of debris is being removed at this time. Yeah. So yeah. Where would you put dumpsters? Well, that's details. So do we want to do it or don't we want to do it? Is that's, the question for the select board. I'd be I'd be I think it's a public service that we ought to do. I agree. Mark. I agree, and I think there should be one down at the Mermaid Park. Yes, yeah. that would be good. Again, again, weeds. Do you want yep. like two or three? Is that the idea? You can make a motion for three dumpsters. At Let's do this. Let's just decide. Is there like a cap on the total number of dumpsters that we would be willing to pay for? Or are we just providing the dumpsters needed? Because if we're just going to talk about providing the dumpsters needed, we can talk about details based on need. I think we just need to know where the what the need is, okay, so and not talk people. I don't people, want to talk about the detail of it, though. The people that are renters, the landlords have told the renters they have to have their stuff out of their apartments by tomorrow afternoon. So a dumpster, if a dumpster's coming, it's got to be ASAP. I don't know how they could do that. That's I'm not either. That's them. pretty easy. I, 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 I would tell them to tell them piss off. Yeah. <laughs> They're all in desperate mode. To get okay. Stuff. That's good to know. We can reach out to a couple up to, up to four. Um, Maximum. Full size, the 40-yard, whatever they are, dumpsters. And we can figure out where to place them afterwards. For for victim need or total? Uh, I would say for anything, whatever, total. whatever is needed. A total now, of four, okay. So that's A and I right. did send out a memo about what should and shouldn't go in there, and somehow we should post it on the dumpsters. What's allowable in those dumpsters? I mean, there's some stuff that's not supposed to go in. So yeah, okay. and I don't know how we police that. We're not going to police anything, but uh, Mark. Um, I talked to Rosemary yesterday, and she said there weren't any dumpsters available. Right. There probably are. At that well, time, there wasn't. It, right. We can try. That's why I was saying. It's okay. We can we try. Can try. There's we, one at BJ's house. Resources we mobilize very quickly. Um, we're getting into the weeds of availability. We have the authorization. If this motion passes, to work on it. Okay. Do we? Okay, we have a motion. Did we get a second? I don't think second. We have a second. Um, any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Ayes have it. Okay, good. Um, other spending authorization needs? Uh, there was a question from a uh, gentleman in the public about potential for portalettes. Those are probably in short supply as well. Uh, some people that live on the first floor that do not have bathrooms might appreciate that. Uh, board stops. So it would be a something you could station. Would essentially be a portalette somewhere on a sidewalk is what I'm envisioning. Um, is this just Railroad Street or is it also the trailer park? Question was, will the board consider it? Uh, that, that's as far as that question was. I'd make a motion to, to um, provide up to two portalettes based on need. Do you have a second? Sure, I'll second it. Any discussion? I would, I would just add really quick that we have no issues with 
sewer coming in, we're just requesting minimal flush and juice. Yeah. That was going to be my question. What, what happens when it gets to the plant? We're working, we're doing the best we can with it, but as the tanks are empty right now, we can take on you more. Can pump them in. Right now. Okay. So. okay. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, um, I do want to talk about one other thing around committees. So committees, um, I know are paying attention to all things. We appreciate all of your hard work. We know many of our committees are hit pretty hard. Committees, commissions, any volunteer groups. Um, the thing that I just want to say to committees is we'll be working on a communication to committees on emergency management and how that affects you. We are trying to triage where we spend our time in the emergency management group. Um, obviously basic human life needs first, um, and then um, safety issues second, and then we'll get to other things. Um, so just look forward to communication on protocol um, and that type of thing. Um, for this event. And if you have a critical need, just reach out, which you already have been a couple of from a couple of committees. Um, but just know that that's coming. Okay, next up. Uh, sorry, anything else on authorized spending? Another question. Go. So, do we know when Starfield would start? Because the library rug needs to come up sooner than later because it's holding water and moisture in the library. And if they can't start for a day or two, can we get authorization to have a local insured contract if we can find one come in and rip up that one? I, has the fire marshal been there? Yeah. Clear yeah. the building. I motioned to authorize the library to get a licensed contract from the room of the carpet. If Surf Pro doesn't come when? No What's that? I mean, if Surf Pro doesn't come by yeah. today's Thursday. And Something that's what others were looking at mold, and, and we have the whole collection in there that wasn't affected by the water, but the water in the room is going to seep into that collection. So I think there will be damage to that collection if it's not removed from the library, yeah. uh, regardless of whether the carpet's there or not. But uh, if you don't hear from Surf Pro by the end of day Friday, you have authorization to line a contractor. That's my motion. Do, do we, does she need to get three essence? Um, let's do a motion first. Uh, do we have a second? I'll okay. second. Okay, we have a second. Now, go ahead, Ken. I was just curious about the protocol of getting three for FEMA. We don't want to muddy the waters and have issues. Um, and no yeah, way. understood. Uh, just carpet removal. Is the motion, and we already have dumpsters uh, at the town office sewer plant that you have authorization to use. Um, I'm waiving the three bids for carpet removal of the first floor only. They're not paying dumpster fees; they're just getting it out. I mean, we had seventy-two hours basically tomorrow morning when the warm water came in, so we're. Understood. There. So we're in further discussion. Do you have something, Duncan, Beth? Uh, I would have the same question. I, I think the guidance that we got said that initially follow your own procurement policy. And I don't mm -hmm. remember what our procurement <laughs> policy says, whether we're supposed to get, it's, if it's it under a thousand it bucks. Has, it has a contingency if there's an emergency yeah. need we can authorize. Yeah, so, so we're I, good. I think we're good. Um, the question for me is, do we want to make it noon rather than end of day? Is the friendly suggestion? It I is. will accept that friendly suggestion at the second or, okay, so it's a, it's a friendly amendment. Okay, Monday. friendly amendment by noon. Okay, uh, any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I did. I said I. Okay. That's yes, okay. Uh, I just have it. Cool. Thank you. Uh, anything else on spending? Sure, we'll be talking to Rosemary a whole lot. Did you guys have something specific immediately, Rosemary? We talked about Surf Pro here in the morning. better. Yep. Um, okay. But anything other than Surf Pro? Um, Computer. How many does the town need? Oblivion is completely gone. Lister is completely gone. The Listers, we approved a new one like two meetings ago. Has that yeah. even showed up? 
I don't think if you approved anything yet. We did. We did. Oh. We did. Maybe we asked. We asked. We asked Carl. Uh uh uh. Uh, so you could re you want to say mine is still good. We could reuse that in the listers office and get me myself a new laptop. Okay, so we need at least two. Yes. Um. Does the village have a need? Uh, we already authorized Eric to get them. Right. Awesome. And okay. The copier is gone. And the copier, right? Is that was that owned or leased? Owned. Can we see if we can get at least one in there for now and get moving? Yeah, it's mostly great to have some okay. Yeah. okay. So you just need authorization to lease a copier up to, do you know, have any idea how much per month? It would be half and half of the village. Okay. Server's fine. Okay. Cool. I motion to authorize a uh, rental or lease of a uh, Printer uh, at Rosemary's copier scanner. Printer copier scanner. Yeah. Unit. Unit thingy. Yeah. Simquest. From SimQuest. From uh, SimQuest at a rate of Rosemary's discretion, requesting that she provide an update on the cost for further evaluation. Is that a good enough motion? The new one's probably $10, $10, $10, $10. Yeah. Um, I also authorize ordering of two new computers at a max spend of eighteen hundred dollars per computer. Two thousand dollars per computer. The time you get installation. Thought it was like, oh, all the other stuff. Yeah. And I thought it was twenty six per month. Up to twenty eight hundred dollars per laptop. Okay. Do we have a second? Yeah, two, two laptops. I authorize two at a rate of up to twenty eight hundred dollars per. Yeah. Okay. Do we have a motion? Do we have a second? Okay. Any discussion? Uh, I'm paying half of the rental lease fee for the unit. Joe's out that half. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. <laughs> Aye. Ayes have it. Okay. Um, the last. Any other spend items? I do have one if no one else does. Last time we met, which was a Friday, which was whatever day this all started, Monday, um, we authorized emergency management to spend up to two thousand dollars. And I'm I don't know what we've spent, <laughs> but well, I do know that we might want to was up that. It was two thousand dollars in ancillary. It was ancillary stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So that do we need to do anything else? For a blanket cost for unforeseen spending, I well, don't know. The emergency itself will be paid for the ancillary fees. No, we're talking about ancillary. Okay, fine. They're not going to pay for that. Huh? They're not, not going to pay for it once that comes. No, no, no that, right. That's what this was. Okay, cool. That's the answer. No, we don't need it. We, we spent well over that. We don't need to talk about time. things. Remember, we're not talking about right. things. We're just moving on. Okay. Next up is for the next few days. So we have a storm event coming in. There is a concern about electrical outages with that storm event. That message has been pushed through the website, Facebook, and also Eric posted mm -hmm. on Front Porch Forum. Can I add, we might want to put that on LBB also. <laughs> yeah, good idea. All right. Um. We also, Evan and I are in discussions with the Vermont Emergency Management Team on potential flood impact, if there would be a potential flood impact. We have a gen we have a high level, we don't have a concern for your area comment, but we're waiting to hear back from somebody who is a river engineer expert to help subside our fears, um, you know, based on infrastructure breakdown that we've experienced over the past few days. Um, so there'll be more to come on that. No, that we're sending our crew home at noon for a short break because we're expecting outages if the wind comes at all. So they're going to be back at around 233 o'clock. Yeah, sounds like you, you may get it from like um, instability of the ground yes, too. Yeah, ground saturation is going to be the problem. Yeah, yeah, okay. Anything else that's urgent to bring up by anyone? I'd like to thank all you guys for doing our job. Thank you. I don't think any of us are ready for that stuff. Yeah. yeah. I'd just like to say that um, I don't have a number for you. 
for those people that are in shelters right now that are going to need longer term stay. The general assistance program for the state is up to 84 days to put people up in hotel and motel rooms. And I, I guess I will share the needs of the um, agency and human services to um, send us an outline and um, numbers for people to contact so we can put that on the website. Perfect. We'll do that. We'll give it to the United Way and we will uh, share it with Kim, who is the point of contact at the shelter. Awesome. Thank you. I know there's a lot of longer term transition. Is that yeah. For all affected renters included or? Well, the, the general assistance program is, um, is for people that will be homeless that um, um, and displaced are most of them and are displaced. Yeah. Okay. I would, I would just make a comment. I don't know if anybody can hear this, um, but that kind of assistance for people like Arthur Hooper, not not to pick on Arthur, mm -hmm. it's worthless to have a phone number for for somebody like Arthur. He can't deal with it. Um, so if there's any possibility of a real live person, we have that. Okay. So I'm not going to talk about specific people. But people in need who've connected with a shelter have a case manager through somebody within the Lamoille County network. And that case manager is making sure that the person who is has at some point registered through the shelter has a plan. Okay. Good. Um, so that's already happening. Okay. Dan. I just had a, I got a text that there's a one o'clock meeting with FEMA and the EOC about when they're gonna be coming to Johnston. So at the state EOC? Yeah. Okay. If you have contact information that we could like zoom into, that would be lovely. I that's, don't know. That's EOC, right? So it's a one o'clock meeting. Okay. Cool. Um, unless there's anything else, I'm going to adjourn us so we can all get back to the. Yep, go ahead. You want to make sure that they have food to send to um, the, the feds. Um, um, I need, we need to hear that now because they're constructing the disaster relief message to the federal. I want, center. can we just stay after this? Because mm -hmm. I have feedback on that. Yep. I'm just saying this general information. Yes. Thank you, Rich. Okay. Um, meeting adjourned at 1248. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Rich.